Hey there. It's been so, a minute. I, I've been a little spacey. I've been off. I don't know. Family? Not really. My family's good. Christmas. Christmas, yeah. I got some problems that I'm fixing. And you're you're about to see me more. I hope. I hope you want to see me more because I want to see you more. I'd like to grow this relationship we have, you know. I'd like to kind of tie the knot. I feel like we've just no strings. I'm ready to get responsible and take this to the next step if you are. Just throwing that out there. Today, I have my childhood late. She's low. She is extremely low. The lowest that I've seen in 30 years, I would say. And I'm not even 30. There's barely any water on the boat ramp. And the problem is our trailer is like 30, and it could be 35 foot, maybe 40. We want to camp. I'll tell you a little more, but first, we need to get off the boat ramp, see if we can even get in the water. It's gonna be a challenge. Let's do it! Alright. Mm. Parking brake is on. That, that truck is working, bro. Let's take the straps off. Last time I did this same boat ramp, we had like double the amount of water. Crazy. That's a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. Oh gosh, my nervous over here, the sand and erosion has covered up that boat ramp, but that is not even half the boat in the water before we hit sand on that side, so hoping we just bounce over these two rocks, get into the water, and she floats. Guys, we're about to do this. We're about to attempt to put this thing in the water, shallow water. When I say shallow water, I'm talking shallower water than we've ever been in. I got to pit my tummy, man. Pit in the tummy. This is going to be close. My biggest fear is that we're going to get to the end. Are you stuck or are you breaking? Are you stuck? All right, thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, that could have been bad. The sounds that I'm hearing just scream, danger, danger, danger. Feel like we just came off the boat ramp, do you? So scary. Oh. The back of the boat's floating. Boy, my heart is pounding. Oh, dude, no. <laughs> You're going. You're going. By myself? <laughs> Am I going by myself? You're going by yourself, bud. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, homie, did you get the content? <laughs> it's so warm, dude. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Small's head sticking up is awesome. I think we're over the tire well. That's the only thing that I don't like. Moment of truth right here. I mean, if she comes out from under there, we're golden. We're gold. You just made it out from the tire well. Yes, w. sir. We're golden. I don't know. Oh. Guys, we have been worried about this for hours right now, trying to come up with a strategic plan on how to get this thing into the water. And for a little while, we were a little nervous thinking that it wasn't gonna happen, but we have made it happen. Oh, dude. You feel a little better? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, it just sounds like a tad better, not a whole lot. Wow. Woo. We have successfully made it into the drain lake with the lifeboat. I have my good buddy Smalls. We're gonna be spending 24 hours in the 64 person enclosed lifeboat. Now here's the thing. I've had about a thousand people comment that they have experienced living, working, mechanically, in a lifeboat. Okay. And they say one thing, these boats absolutely suck. But, I disagree. Well, this, I mean, you've been on here about 20 seconds so far, so. I have, I, I don't really have a leg to stand on, but I will say, 
I think this is pretty cool. I think it's really cool. I think that you just gotta know exactly what you're getting into. A lot of people were wondering, can we turn this into a tiny home, a floating houseboat? Ooh. Which I would love to do, but before we do that and invest all this crazy money, right. we need to get out here, spend 24 hours in the boat, see if we can catch a fish, see if we can cook fish, see if we can sleep, see if she floats. And I got the best man to do it with me. You ready? I'm so ready. Let's do it. Crank her up. All right, last time we had a serious carbon monoxide problem. This time we've mounted three new alarms around the boat. So we have a little bit better monitoring system to make sure we don't kill everybody I know and hold dear to me. We're gonna fire this thing off, seal the box. I've also done, I don't even wanna show you guys, that's the worst fiberglass I've ever done. Tim, if you're watching, I'm sorry, man. Soon as I fire this thing off, we're sealing the box. Hopefully it's not gonna leak as much carbon. And then we're gonna go to the fishing spot that's 50 yards away. Fingers crossed, no more monoxide. Hey, come on, girl. She could just be a little embarrassed. You know anything about inboard motors? No. Yeah, why, why are we smoking back here? We are smoking, boys. What's that? Okay, that's not great. What does that mean? We still smoking? Moles, you know anything about smoking? Yes, sir. Like boats? Oh, no. See that? Yeah. It's pretty thick smoke. Dude, that is. That's not good. Is it getting worse or better? It's getting way better. It is? It is. I mean, I know it's still a bad deal, but it's not like it was. Okay. Well, I don't want to try again if we're starting fires. I understand that. Like trying to start a motor that's smoking and fumes. It's definitely sketchy. In an enclosed boat, that's like we're a human oven right now. Right. It's definitely dangerous. Like if this thing, then we're all... I don't know what to do. I know this is not what you want to hear, my friend. <clears throat> you see this paddle right here? It works. It does work. And I have an exact match. So we could do it? Right there. Not what we wanted, but we have an alternative. Ugh. Oh. Are we getting anywhere off of it? This is gonna take years, brother. So I'm curious about the motor. I'm thinking two issues could be present. First off, did we use the remaining water in the motor as coolant last time we took it out and test drove it? Did I accidentally clog up the water intake when I was fixing the hole? Second off, did we ram it into sand and dirt when we were trying to dip it in with a boat ramp that's about 10 foot long and just clog up the water intake. I'm hoping it's something that simple. We're moving. I feel like we're building some steam. We're almost out of the no wake zone so we can really turn it on in a second. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm excited about, being able to really turn it on. Because <laughs> it's me over here, dude. I really ain't turned it on yet. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm getting close. Dude, this is a good time, bro. Glad we're doing this. Ah. Ah. Game warden comes out here, we just start paddling hard as we can. Bro, if the game warden comes out here right now, he ain't writing us no tickets. Our lifeboat 
won't even start, bro. Yeah, how disappointing would that be, dude? Your oil rig's on fire and your lifeboat doesn't run. Yeah. I'm just saying, if a game warden writes us a ticket out here, paddling a lifeboat, dude, he has no heart. That pole's looking mighty close, man. Earlier, I felt like I was doing a death stroke. Does that speedometer say we're moving? <laughs> we're gonna do this, man. It's gonna be worth it. We're gonna break a PB out here. Feel it. I don't know about that. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Just pull me right back down to reality. <laughs> yeah, sorry, dude. I mean, at the end of the day, we are out here paddling uh, 64 personas. <laughs> yeah, we are doing that. Hey, can I honestly say something? Honestly? I swear to you. Okay. I promise you, bro. There's nowhere else I'd rather be right now. Dang, bro. It's pretty nice. I enjoy filming with you, bro. I enjoy filming with you, Smalls. I hope this is the beginning of something beautiful, man. Well, buddy, if it's anything like you are, we're on the right track. <laughs> oh, yes, bro. Yes, dude. I'm having so much fun, oh, dude. I love it. <laughs> I, love it. I love this so much. If the cameras weren't rolling, I'd probably still be doing it for fun, you know? Yeah, dude, for sure. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. How we going? Oh. Ready? Yeah. I hope the fish didn't hear that. <laughs> We're 50 yards off. We're fine. We're fine. We're at a very good starting point. Okay. If we want to hightail it over there and get closer to it, or if we want to get away from it. We want to hightail it over there. <laughs> <laughs> Even though the motor is not running, and we just had to paddle a 16,000 pound vessel, a football field, we're trying to stay positive. I think we can still test this boat, camp in it, try to do a catch and cook. We're just gonna push ourselves a little bit harder. So we have made it to the only shoal pole that is uh, make it toable. Let's just say that. And I know of some brush piles that are right here in front of us. Oh. All right, Smalls, we got 40 minutes till it's completely dark. See, I feel like we're further from the shoal pole than normal, I but- I think we've kind of drifted some from where we originally started. Dude, this is the most serious anchor I've ever dealt. Oh. We're detached. My sock is wet. Oh. Spot number two. Yeah. See if this is any better. How deep is it? Can you tell that? Not deep. Four, I'd say four. So I will say my confidence level in the rooster tail just went up a tad. You like shallow water rooster tailing? I do. I don't know why. I do too. Let's do it, man. Let's, do it. Ooh, let's not do it. <laughs> All right. Just move spots. If I move spots, we move 20 yards closer to the shoal pole. I haven't felt any structure of you. I haven't. Which is not good. Whew. Yeah, these fish are not as hungry as I am. Me neither. Hey pal honey. Today's video sponsor is the number one shopping tool in America. They automatically search for promo codes and coupons to help you save money wherever you shop. You can use Honey to buy stuff that you already buy at websites that you already use. You don't have to try to save money on a new saw by going to a creepy North Korean website. Instead, you can get Honey like I did and save $26.99 on a new freaking saw. It is a freaking rush, man. It is just stacking dopamine on top of dopamine. It's the lunker logs of serotonin. It's pretty much like if you found the sweetest 70 year old grandma who's been saving coupons for 70 years, then you just take her shopping with you everywhere you go. And every time you check out, you turn around and she says, uh, do you wanna save some money with this coupon, honey? Yes, I do. 
honey in a nutshell. Get honey, add it to your browser by going to joinhoney.com slash aofisher. Completely free, easy to do. Thanks, honey. Back to the video. Oh, dude. Just give you a little nose transition, why not? Just gotta have faith, dude. There's 10 pounder, dude. I said faith, bro. Not disillusioned. Woo! Okay, okay, okay. Yes. I almost just went. <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> I think it might actually be hurting me to be up this high. I really wish that motor worked. I wish that motor worked too, dude. <laughs> We've done some lifeboat paddling. We have, and that was not the plan. The plan was to hit like five different spots, go camp near island, but I can see where we started. It's like 50 yards that way, so. It's not far. <laughs> it's not. Anyways, first two spots that we fished were absolute bust. Nothing happened. I put pants on. I, you did. I didn't see you put pants on, but you did. I put pants on. It was like I looked up and then pants pants yeah. the main plan we were going to do this either way but we have three green lights so we're going to try to set up in the river channel put out green lights just glow this boat up and bring fish to us that sounds like a good game plan to me we can either glow it up crank the engine again and blow it up <laughs> it's totally up to you It's kind of spooky. It looks like a body's about to float out. Float yeah. Jason Voorhees up? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So what we are about to do is chum the water. So we're going to be using some King Cat chicken blood. And when you get a real good sniff of this, guys, it's... God. <laughs> that gave me chills in my... Because <laughs> you know what it smells like. Like, no, I want I it to be real. Lift. I want it to be real. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you actually... Your eyes are watering. Yeah. It's like an onion. It's like spreading it and just diving in <laughs> it is rancid it's raunchy it's absolutely disgusting i mean that should bring a catfish out of the water dude what a good night to come out here and be anchored out not too windy it is 12 22 one bite that sucks. Dang! It. <laughs> Wind. Whew. Lights have been out maybe an hour. I don't know, bro. I've been like two and a half, three hours. Golly, it's, it's been, been a minute, long? dude. It could have been. We are just now getting bait to pull in. And I'm tired, dude. I'm tired. I'm very tired. And I keep hearing a bubbling noise, and I don't like that. The bubbling noise has got me a little worried. It's kind of like a... Oh, man, that bait down there looks so good. We got minnows, we got brim. Just no fish. I'm gonna try live minnow down there. Dude, if we caught a three inch brim, I'd eat them raw. Four hours. How you doing, Smalls? I'm tired, bro. Temperatures are low. I'm doing good, but I'm tired. <clears throat> I think we're gonna float into shallow water and then show you around the new interior design. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's getting really steamy in the master bedroom. Welcome in. I don't know if you can see us, but this is the plan for the master bedroom. I'm thinking this is a bed frame right here. This is certainly a bed frame. No it works work. exactly like a bed frame. Without having to do any work. Yeah. Which is what we like the most around here. For sure. America. Cut some plywood, maybe run one stringer, and you have queen size bed. Also, imagine with me one time. Okay. 
Not bad. Not bad at all. And dude, imagine stretching two more foot out and Shit. not falling. That would be nice. You could put a king in here. You man. might could, man. That's what I'm sitting here. Nah. Nah. That's queen all day, though. It's very queenish. <laughs> it's not bad, dude. No, dude. I think it's a fantastic setup. And tonight, we got to do a little bit of ingenuity. We got a queen air mattress and we got a motor cap. So we're going to kind of fill in one side and see if we can. Okay. Nice. Set up this bad Larry. Dude, it's like one of those things that one person sits on and then those people jump on and it launches you in the air. Oh, like the blob? Yes, dude. That's what sharing an air mattress with a grown man feels like all night. Dude, do you feel like I'm a grown man? Yeah, do you not? Of course, dude, for sure. For sure. Not how we plan the day going, but you know, either way, still ended up in bed with small, so kind of a dub either way. <laughs> Oh, uh, homeboy's winning. <laughs> Bro, this is a skeleton one. <laughs> <laughs> or a mummy. A mummy. We can swap. We can swap. No, I've never. <laughs> Alright, man. Night, bro. Pretty cool place to wake up. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh -oh. We're going. We are still going. Yeah, guys, so this was pillow for last night. It was outrageous. <laughs> we do have some catfish rides out though, so. Dude, I'm hoping that we have a catfish. It would be a glorious. It would, it would be a glorious morning because last night, when I tell you guys that we fished our little hearts out, trying our best to catch a fish, I mean, we did. And sometimes you strike out. And sometimes every time you strike out. Mm. And that was us last night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a clean hook. Dang, bro, all of our rods are in and no fish. Some videos just don't go the way they should. Right. I have this happen to me every winter, though. Sometimes I force ideas when the lakes just like leave me alone. Also, I could have some more bad news. I don't know if you guys remember this, but little bad boy was a little smoky yesterday when we tried to crank her up. The main area billowing smoke out was the back, the little bilge valve area. I've been trying to be positive and think of like the, the simplest fixes, but one thing that crossed our minds last night when we were in bed. Did it get so cold that the water that was still left in this engine block froze and then cracked the engine block? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but you know what I mean? That's just how it could have happened. That's like saying somebody coughs and they're like, dude, stage four, you're done. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't want to be that guy, but there's that, a chance. It doesn't look like you've got long, is all I'm saying. <laughs> That is a very real possibility. I just know nothing of these lifeboats. Like, are you draining them and treating them like a typical motor? I thought these things were unsinkable, unbreakable, built for everything. Right, it's a lifeboat. I mean, it should, yeah. it should be. If you know anything about Sab inboard marine motors, let me know. God, it's a big anchor. All right, three. I don't know. We coming off or no? That is painful, bro. Painful. Oh. So, just made it to the boat ramp. Talked to my father-in-law. He told me to check the oil and see if there's any water because he's a big diesel guy. Oh, turns out there's no water in the oil yet. We're gonna try to get this thing to turn over. 
Oh. Moment of truth. Isn't it? 100%. I'm glad that the motor is not busted. We still have to check the oil, see if it's a little milky after running it, but I feel pretty confident. It doesn't sound bad. And we've run it for a couple minutes now, so. To me. Ladies and gentlemen, that is clean oil. I definitely just wiped it all on my hand, but we do not have a busted motor. Wow. Thought I just lost my baby for a minute. Thought that I lost the old baby. Okay. I know a lot of people were curious as to how trailering this bad Larry goes, so. Hi, Pat. Oh, 
Thank you guys for watching. Check out my man Small's channel. We're coming with a head full of steam for 2023. Yes, sir. Or maybe we're not. I mean, I'm going to try. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try. I'm going to try my hardest. It sounded really good, though. So yeah. right, we're going with it. We're going to try. We're going to try. I love you guys. See you on the next one. <sighs> All right, here we go. Energy's here. The energy. Energy's here. Hey. Yep. One, two, three. Ooh. So, plan. Do that again. Sure, dude. Whatever you think. Make sure this lens a little clean. Mm. Oh, oh, I see a poo of my eyes. <laughs> I'm just driving to you. It's 1.45 in the morning.